Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 340. That is, what is conformance testing? Let me answer. So what is conformance testing? Testing whether the developed application or software meets the required standards and regulations or not, okay? Here, as software tester, we are checking whether the uh, software which is developed by the developers is meeting the standards and regulations as per the requirements, okay? So what are just standards? What are these standards or regulations? In real world, okay, what are these standards and regulations, okay? There are uh, two categories. In IT world, we have standards and regulations. In non-IT physical world, you see, when you go to market, you purchase a lot of products. That is non-IT products you purchase, right? Uh, television or whatever the item you take that non-IT that is, okay? IT means something related to software, non-software and software, okay? In IT related, one of the example for this standard is W3C guys, okay? World Wide Web Consortium, okay? W3C standards. So nowadays, all the applications which are getting, all the applications or software which are getting developed, okay? If they are, uh, okay, if they are developed according to the W3C standard, okay? You know, people will treat that as a very good application, okay? So it will get more popularity. A lot of people will use worldwide and all those things will happen, okay? If the applications are meeting the World Wide Web Consortium standards and regulations, okay? The application is uh, like kind of, it's kind of a standard application, okay? It's not a normal application. It's stand, very standard application, very good application. Uh, it gets a lot of popularity and more user base in the market, okay? Coming to the non-IT guys, coming to the non-IT. So we generally have a, uh, mark or standard known as ISI, okay? So, especially when you purchase some uh, helmets, okay? In India, guys, okay? ISI is Indian Standards Institute in country India. We have this ISI standard. If that particular ISI standard is there on any particular physical product like helmets or, okay, that you wear when you uh, travel over bikes, right? Uh, helmets, such kind of helmets, if they have ISI, that means they are very good helmets, okay? So, people tend to purchase the products which are of standard products. Okay, rather than purchasing some duplicate products uh, which doesn't have the quality, okay, standard products have quality. They they ensure some quality. Okay, that's the reason people go with the standards. Similarly, in software, the applications which are developed according to the W3C standards and regulations, okay, are told to be standards. People tend to use such kind of applications. Okay, they can rely. They have a kind of feeling that this is a very good application. Okay, I'm very secured feeling and all those stuff. Okay, so industrial products non it okay so these are standards case hope guys you understood what exactly standards are again let's uh, come back to the confirmation uh, sorry uh, let's come back to conformance testing it's not confirmation it's conformance testing testing whether the developed software meets the standards and regulations or not is okay the particular software testing company is testing whether the developed software is meeting the uh, re required standards and regulations as per the requirements it's meeting or not it's called as conformance testing okay so here, who will perform testing? Software testers only will perform testing, but these people will not be the will not be the uh, will not be the general uh, software testers. They will be uh, independent company guys, which is specialized in uh, verifying the standards and regulations. Okay, a company which is not testing the general software testing applications, rather it is a company, okay, which is specialized in one particular type of standard. So such companies will get the projects, okay? Because they have a track record that uh, these software testers who, are, who belong to this independent company are providing the services where they are testing whether our application is according to the uh, given standards and regulations in the market or not, okay? So some companies will be there in the market uh, which generally do this kind of testing services, confirmation, conformance uh, testing services, okay? So now, there is a difference between compliance testing and conformance testing. A lot of people think that compliance testing and conformance testing both are same, but they are not uh, same guys, okay? They do the same thing, okay? In co compliance testing also, the, uh, the testing will be done on the developed software to see whether it is uh, meeting the required standards and regulations. In confirmation, uh, sorry, in conformance, sorry, I'm saying multiple times confirmation, it's conformance guys, okay? In conformance testing also, okay? Uh, we'll test whether the developed software meets the standards and regulations, okay? Both are doing the same thing. But what is the actual difference between compliance and conformance testing? In compliance testing, okay, both though both have the same purpose of uh, testing whether the required software is according to standards and regulations or not. Coming to the compliance testing, it is done in a formal way, okay? 
formal and precise way very strict process precise way formal way okay it uh, the checking testing will be performed in a formal way and precise way means very accurate it should be okay so if they are certifying that this particular particular software is according to the standards means it is very precisely they are saying okay so it very good process of standardizing your software okay and also we have confirm means testing it is also related to uh, checking the same things purpose is same but it is informal way okay less precise it's not so good as compliance okay compliance testing uh, standardized in a very particular precise formal way but here confirmance informal and less precise way okay so you need to understand the difference between compliance and confirmance both have the same purpose but one is formal way and precise way wherever there is another one is informal way less precise way okay of testing accord against the standards and regulations of the software so hope guys you understood what is confirmance testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye